Well, yeah, here we go. We're gonna say well, hi. I like this. Yeah, you're gonna miss out on it. Yeah, you have no yeah. idea. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. You're, you're I got fine. shit to do. I'm well, a worker. Tell the fans that. that okay, Jeremy LaFrance, Backstage Entertainment. Let's get that normal stuff out of the way. Gemini Syndrome. You guys do some other stuff other than perform. So tell the fans kind of what you're going to do merch right now. Tell them that I mean other jobs you guys have with the band. Yeah, basically we have to take care of everything right now because we have to and we are glad to do it. We are really glad to do it. And that's it. That's it. Do you have something to I'm going to be here all, all night. <laughs> yeah, we are going to be here all night. And make sure you you you, you watch the set Tonight you probably are not gonna be there, but it's all good. Yeah, Thank I'm not you. gonna. I'm be able. I'm not gonna be able to post it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, hey! Yeah. All right. So for those fans that were in Lincoln tonight, comment on the video. Just say, hey, I was there. So it's always fun to see, you know, the fans that were there, and you know, you guys are doing the interview right before the show. So go church the merch dog. I gotta, I got I got I got I got a mer mer merchanting. Merch. Merchanting. Hey, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Is merchanting a word? Merchanting. Merchanting. It it's is, a, it's yeah, a word it's, now, added to the rock vocabulary there. All right, so let's do this. Jeremy LaFrance, Backstage Entertainment, Aaron, Gemini Syndrome, twice in what, about two months? Something like that. Yeah, so I asked you this before the interview and you didn't know. What have you been doing for the last couple months? Since the last, we played a few more shows. Okay. Uh, we went home for like three, three weeks or so. Right. We did some stuff for the album, which we now have a release date. It comes out September 10th. Okay. So we were kind of finalizing all that stuff. Yeah. Did some photo shoots. And, and you guys are releasing single by single leading up to yep. that. Yeah. Yep. Stardust next. Uh, just came out, yeah. All right. See? So, so yeah, you guys have been busy. Before, when I asked you that, you're like, oh, shit, what did we do? <laughs> it's all, it all, a line from Stardust, it's all a blur. It's it just happens blur. like that after you're out for so long. You just, you know, we did a couple of festivals in Illinois um, leading up to this tour. Mm -hmm. So it's been pretty. It's been good. Yep. I didn't want to point this out, but let's. I mean, we fans can't see below us, but we have this ledge, and so you're you're perceived as a little taller than me right now. Which huh? I am absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, we're still little, little but, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See if I. Uh, we'll see real quick. That's, that's what it that's actually what looks actually, like. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt right now. I do appreciate that. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that part out either. People are gonna know. I don't think so either. Best accomplishment as the band since you guys have formed so far? Just the, the fact that we've been able to be on tour and play with these incredible bands and yeah. have, a, have a fan base that wants to come out and see us and wants us to come to their towns. That yeah. Doing the damn thing, really. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the reward in and of itself. Now with the record's coming out. You know, we've, we've all fought really hard to be here. We talked last time that you've had fans come up to you, you've had fans comment on your videos, Wow, how come I never heard of these guys before? You have a fan for life now. I mean, you're still probably getting that since we yeah, last talked. Yeah, absolutely. That's probably got to be just a blessing. It's the best. Yeah. Song that fans love the most live. When you guys are performing, what gets them pumped the most? Yeah, it depends on where we are okay. and what they've been exposed to. A lot of people knew Pleasure and Pain. Right. Because that was the first one we released to radio. Um, so that always got a really good response. There was a guy just the other night in uh, across the river from St. Louis who came up to us after the show and we played Pleasure and Pain last. Yeah. And he's like, I didn't know who you guys were until I heard that song. Then I realized that it was you. Ah, like he didn't know. So he right. wasn't familiar with the rest of the catalog. So some places have been exposed to basement. Mm -hmm. So that gets a really good response. Right. Um, it, yeah, it just depends. Right. Any funny stories on this tour so far? Because you, you're with Drowning Pool and Pop Evil tonight. Any funny stories or any pranks has been pulled yet? No, not really. This is only the technically third show. Okay. We did a, uh, we did the Breast Fest Biker Bash in Pecatonica, Illinois, which okay. is a big outdoor festival that we all played on. And then we did a show in Sauge, Illinois. That was the first club show. This is only the second club show. Okay. So it's really, it's pretty fresh, just, fresh yeah, tour yeah, yeah, right now. We're, fresh, just, we're so. just getting into it. We did drive 50 hours to get 50. to, <laughs> straight, to get to uh, the festival from home. So I can't stand. That's not really a funny story. That's more of a tragedy, but. Yeah. I say, I, I, I can't be in a car longer than a couple hours, oh, yeah. but 50 hours, 50? Was, it was pretty brutal, dude. Oh my I God. I won't lie. Yeah. When All you right. get, when you get to 30, it's like, uh, you're like just barely halfway through. Come oh on, man. Oh, I know it. I bet you get to the halfway point and you're still like, wow, another one of this. Yeah, exactly. The box. The again. box. You experienced it last time. The box of destiny. 
Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Did you still want to do the action words? You want to answer them normal? What do you want to do? You still have those actions. We can try. You know, how, you know how I did last time. Let's try one. I got the we'll Jerry see. Springer thing last That's time, and it was right. just me. So I was hey, kinda... That one works better if you have a couple band members yeah. with you. You know? Yeah. But, uh, okay, hey. let's try and, or uh, Draw one now. What do we got? If you could play music in any other genre, what would it be? Okay, now 1 through 55 was the numbers again. Uh... It's the same ones, right? So I can't. Same make, I shouldn't so, make the same number. So twenty three is Jerry Springer. So right. Uh, Forty. Forty six. We'll Forty six. Twenty three. Ooh, sad. Can you do sad? Sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd play jazz. But why aren't you excited about that? I, I'm just a sad person. Okay. Just a sad excuse Fine. of a man. This is a horrible interview. <laughs> <laughs> I would play jazz, honestly. Yeah. I, I really I played jazz piano as a kid okay. and couldn't wrap my head around it. It right. is one of my goals that when I'm like retired from doing this when I'm older, okay. I want to be in a smoky cigar ridden yep. bourbon jazz club somewhere underground. So that's retired life, huh? Jamming guitar. There yeah. you go. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay, let's let's try another one. <laughs> this interview is terrible. <laughs> that's fucked up, man. That's you did sad very well, that's why I said that. <laughs> What will you love to do with the band you idolize? Ah. Tour. Okay. It's an easy one. Yeah. Love to what, t- uh, what make top few bands of that nature? Oh, uh, I mean, Deftones, Got Tool, it. Carnival, Seven Dust, um, Catatonia, uh, and it goes on and on, yeah. always. But yep. off the top of my head, I don't know if it, I don't think it would ever happen, but I would love to tour with Tech Nine. I think that would be awesome. Really? I know Deftones did a song on his, not last record, but the record before that. Uh, Steven and Chino were on that, so I thought that was really cool that they kind of bridged the gap of, of genres, yeah. you know what I mean? Speaking of Deftones and Tech Nine, they've both been on the show. Have they? Yeah, it's nice. awesome. Those guys are awesome. Oh, dude. The, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty I met, cool. I met Chino once, man. I'm looking forward to meeting Tech Nine. I think that guy's an absolute genius. He was fun. <laughs> was he? I, I, Fans can watch the interview, but uh, he got the uh, um, what happens if you poop your pants or something before going on stage, and he actually like acted out. He was like on his bus and like, oh, it was, it was funny. So fans can watch That's that cool. one. That's cool. But yeah, I mean, bands like that, you, you never know how well they are in yeah. person, but they show it in our interviews. So cool. Uh, so you want to do another one here? Sure. Uh, that one. It's a long one. This one's smaller. If you could start a band with anyone famous. Other than in music, who would you pick and why? <laughs> Christopher Walken. Okay. <laughs> Just because I think he'd be awesome. That's right. Christopher Walken is one of the coolest people on the planet. I want to be that dude when I'm older. Can you do any Christopher Walken impression? No, not really so good. <laughs> I try sometimes, but, you know, not, not, no, not really. That's what it's about, <laughs> is you know, pausing and showing and flexion. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that when he reads scripts, he has them take out all the punctuation, so he just reads it however he wants. <laughs> that was probably awful. We're, we're going to get so many bad comments. You guys oh, suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a singer, man. I'm not an impersonator. Yeah, I, I've attempted a few impressions, impersonation impressions during our interviews. And, you know, there are other couple I've done all right. I've, I've thrown Bane in there. I've, I've done nice. Elmo impersonation. Nice. So, yeah. Mike it's, Mike is really good at that, unfortunately. Oh, Mike is not he, here, but Mike, not is, here. Mike is the... Uh, impersonation yeah, master. Yeah, he, right? he does it well. Yeah. It's always fun when you have a band member that can do that. It's a, it's a good time. It keeps us amused on the road, yes. too, so... Well, yeah, especially during 50-hour drives. You need, you need something <laughs> yeah, exactly. to amuse you. Exactly. Um, you tell us when to stop. You want, if you want to do one more... You want do one do, more. Okay, one more, and then uh, showtime's coming up. It's the craziest night you've had with your band members. You guys are pretty low key. We kind of told that yeah. to us before. I mean, yeah, we're not too crazy. Right. So it's probably just. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a different one. Yeah, there you that's go. really not an interesting question to answer. For well, us. That's, fans need to know that because you, part the rock style life, they think that you guys party every night. But <laughs> if you could sleep with anyone, who would it be? Christopher Walken. Wait. Christopher. Right? <laughs> uh, I'm sure he uh, appreciates <laughs> that answer. Um, <laughs> I'll play it safe and say my lady when I go home. There you go. That's a safe answer That's right there. That's always safe. That mm-hmm. is always safe. Yep. All right. She'll appreciate that. What do you want to leave fans with this time? Record comes out September 10th. Please go buy it. 
tell your friends. Go on tour with Five Finger Death Punch in September, October. Come check that out. That's going to be awesome. That is going to be awesome. Uh, Escape the Fate, Miss May I, Five Finger Death Punch, and us. Yep. So that'll be a great keep, tour. Keep supporting, man. I mean, we've been we've been doing these the cockfight things on like internet radio where they put us right. up again, and we've yeah, been yeah. we've been doing great, man. We've been that's awesome. We've been doing really good. So the support again that we get from everybody is yep. just off the hook. Follow you guys on Facebook to get all the information. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, any social media that you can imagine, okay. we're there. Just all right. Gemini Syndrome. Once again, Aaron, Gemini Syndrome, definitely look for the new album out and that tour. That'll be pretty awesome. So to see if it's a, in a city near you guys. Once again, Jeremy the France, Backstage Entertainment, Aaron, Gemini Syndrome. Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.